Hey guys, it's David. Welcome back. Sorry I've been missing in action for a little bit, but 2022 rolled off the red carpet for me. And um, I welcomed in the new year with a, a good case of COVID-19, followed by strep throat, accompanied with a double ear infection. So I've been down and out for probably sneaking up on two weeks right now. I'm hoping I can get through this video without having a coughing fit. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully I got all that out of my system here so we can attack the trail coming up pretty soon. But anyway, today I want to just uh, real quick talk about some of the smaller things that I'm taking with me on the Appalachian Trail through hike. Now this stuff isn't the sexy stuff that we like to talk about, like the uh, big three or backpacks and tents, um, sleep system, shoes, kitchen, and all that good stuff. But to me, this is uh, pretty much equally important. Um, so anyway, we'll start off real quick with the first aid kit. Um, this is a uh, Dyneema zipper pouch that I got from Light AF. Um, you don't need this. A Ziploc bag is just fine. Um, again, I'm a gear junkie, so I got it. Guys, I'm never telling anybody what they should bring. I'm just telling you what I'm bringing with me, and if it helps you, great. But, um, you know, you got to get out there and figure out what works for you. So the mindset is not to try to pack for six months of contingency plans. This is just to get you through the next three to five days if you do have to get off trail and get to a town stop. So anyway, uh, first aid kit real quick. I got um, eye drops that I take with me, and um, I got a couple pieces of gauze, band-aid, and some butterfly type um, bandages here. And um, I got the uh, gluco tape, the must-have. I got a couple pieces of that on the sticker paper. Triple antibiotic cream. Earplugs are a must. If you've ever slept in a shelter, you know what's up. And um, Tweezers, scissors, Victorinox, a Swiss Army knife, the little classic version that's got some scissors and that works just fine. Again, I found this on uh, lightsmith.com and I thought it was pretty cool. So I might take it, no big, that doesn't weigh hardly anything. Q-tips, I always bring Q-tips with me. I don't recall ever using them once, but I don't know. I feel like I need to have them with me. So they're going with me. Um, got some heartburn medicine, got anti-diarrhea pills. Um, I take blood pressure medicine. So I'll have this little baggie here filled up. And then um, in here, I got my vitamin I. Got a couple of Excedrin in there, but um, I'll be filling this up with more ibuprofen. Just I just take that as sparingly as possible. But um, as the body gets acclimated, I'm sure I'll be um, eating a lot of that. And that's the first aid kit. All right, so continuing on here on first aid. This is first aid kit for my gear. And again, Ziploc bag is fine. I got a little pouch here, but um, I got tenacious tape cut out in these little squares and um, on the back side of these I just put a little um, little patch of uh, duct tape. I got four of those. This should be able to help me out with my air mattress but uh, on the air mattress if I get a leak I got alcohol um, pad there to clean it up and the sticky parts that come with it and then the patch that comes with the Neo Air. That should be able to manage any kind of leaks in the tent or in my air mattress on out there. Um, I got a few uh, tiny little zip ties. Got a little extra toggle for I don't know what, just in case. Inside here, this is just an old like Tylenol bottle that you find in the travel section of Walmart or, or someplace. And um, got some duct tape wrapped on the outside just in case. On the inside, got a couple of um, needles for blister management if need be. Got a little bit of thread here for sewing. Safety pins, million and one uses for that and rubber band, because why not? All right, now onto the fun stuff. This is the poop kit. Yeah, I said poop kit. Um, I like to keep my poop kit in a, in a bag. That way I can have everything all in one place. If you need to go, you need to go. Just grab this thing and hit the woods. There, TP, I always double up. I keep that in a um, Ziploc bag in addition to my Dyneema. Just double protection makes me feel better. Then we have the little trowel. I forgot the name of this thing, but it's super light and tiny. Um, I was using the Deuce of Spades, which is which is pretty awesome. There's nothing wrong with this. I love this thing. Um, kind of sharp on your hands when you're trying to really get down, but this works out good. Between this or your you know trekking pole or stick, this works great. I use a backcountry bidet. This is the Kulo Queen. I've also used the other one here, um, Darwin on the Trail, I think is one of the first ones I've seen that kind of popularized this brand. Um, I got it, I want to say something like 12 bucks. It comes in a three pack, different colors, uh, blue, white, red. This works really nice too. I like them both. 
Um, no problem either one. If you have not used a backcountry bidet, I'm telling you, it would change your life. This is going to help keep things clean in a very important area. Um, it's going to cut down shaping and you're going to feel like you just got out of the shower. This will change your life. It definitely changed mine. Granted, it's not for the squeamish. You do got to uh, get ready to get down and dirty, but listen, it's all water soluble. Um, make sure you got some uh, camp soap. I got a little bit of Dr. Bronner's in here that I use and uh, that accompanied with some hand sanitizer between the two of these. Um, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Wet wipes are king out there. Um, love wet wipes. You can um, dehydrate them and you know, save a little bit of weight and then just kind of rehydrate them with some water when you're ready to use them. But um, I've actually started using these dude shower wipes. Um, they're a lot bigger. They are heavier, but um, they're a lot more durable. Uh, they're a lot bigger, individual cloths. And um, you can get a lot more clean with that. So at the end of the day, when you hit the tent, um, you're all dirty and tired. You can go ahead and towel off everything with one or two of these and you'll feel like you uh, feel a lot better. I'm going to say you feel like you got a shower, but you'll feel a lot better. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, Backcountry hygiene, first aid and repair kits. This is not me telling you what you should bring out there. This is not any recommendations. I'm not endorsing anything. I'm just telling you this is what's been working for me. This is what I plan on bringing. Um, as I always say, um, your comments are welcome down below. Let me know if I'm overlooking anything or if you got some um, other thoughts you might want to consider, I'll do it. One more thing before I go, guys. I um, just want to say once again, thank you very much for all the love and support and all the kind comments and, and all the well wishes and people hitting me up saying that they hope I feel better um, and all that good stuff. I just truly appreciate it, man. We don't even know each other, but you guys are just sending me lots of love through the internet. I think it's funny that I haven't even met these fellow YouTubers that are, uh, am I a YouTuber? I'm not a YouTuber. You know? Anyway, I think it's funny. I haven't even met any of these other hikers that are making YouTube channels right now. And uh, already I feel like you're kind of establishing some friendships and some relationships with some of these guys. And um, I just think that's so cool, you know? Um, had that same kind of similar camaraderie in the military, um, same thing in the Jiu Jitsu world. And, same thing I'm starting to, to find uh, is in the hiking community, the long distance hiking community, or just the hiking community in general. Um, there must be something about the kind of person that just enjoys challenging their self and um, just doesn't want to live status quo, you know? Somebody who chases dreams, somebody who has some ambition, somebody who sets some personal goals and uh, they go after it and they do what they got to do. They modify their lifestyle and go after it. And um, I just respect the hell out of that. And I am seeing that through different communities. And I think that's a common thread is that people who like to challenge their self are my people. Never thought about that until just now. I think it's pretty cool. Um, check out my buddy Whiskers over there on his channel. He's uh, him and his wife, the happy hippie there out of Colorado. And they're about to hit the trail and do their through hike uh, at the end of February. Um, they're out there doing a lot of shakedown hikes. They're reviewing gear. He's posting a lot of good videos with some quality content, some great information. And in I'll put his link down below in my comments. Go check them out. They're good people. And um, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Again, thanks so much for the uh, kind comments and the well wishes. Uh, I'm on the mend. I was able to get through this video without having a coughing fit. So uh, I guess we'll uh, keep charging forward. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.